People are always asking us, why are these shoes so expensive? What makes them so special? Why would anybody spend 5 lakh rupees for a pair of shoes? So today we're going to unbox a bunch of shoes ranging all the way from 500 rupees all the way up to 5 lakh rupees to see what really is the difference, whether it's a comfort or the materials or maybe just the unboxing experience. Come on, let's take a look. And then as a bonus, we also have a couple of shoes worth more than 5 lakh to take a look. Starting at 500 rupees. At 500 rupees, we have this Lee Tree Collection sneaker. Where did we get this? Linking Road. We bought somewhere on Linking Road. Uh, wow, it has a little bit of like an orthopedic diagram at the bottom, sort of explaining something scientific. I don't know. Uh, pressure points that can affect different parts of the body. Interesting. Talks about the comfort of the shoe. Pretty interesting. 500 rupees. Uh, fairly smooth unboxing experience. Uh, it has fashion, fashion written over here, some sort of pattern. Honestly, it seems a little hard on the sole. Seems decently comfortable, pretty clean silhouette, simple black leather sneaker. As an authenticity tag, I guess that's kind of cool. But yeah, not much of an unboxing experience overall. The shoe comes laced, there's no butter paper in the box. And for 500 rupees, uh, that's that. Next up, we have a pair of shoes worth 5 grand. Uh, around this price range is when you start entering the world of brands. We have a pair of Chuck Taylor Converse shoes. Uh, nicer unboxing experience. You have some butter paper, a uh, clean pair of low top Converse shoes, good quality sole. Seems like a fairly comfortable insole. It has a lace option. Uh, decently cool sneaker overall. Nicer box, uh, but pretty straightforward, nothing extraordinary. At about 50,000 rupees, uh, we get a slightly rare Nike SB Dunk. Right here, we have the What the Paul. The what the Pauls are a pretty special shoe. Uh, both shoes are completely different. The Nike What the series basically involves a bunch of shoes where um, they put together elements from a hell of a lot of different shoes into the left and the right shoe independently. So the right shoe has the toe box from a different shoe, the laces from a different shoe, the sole from a, the outsole from a different shoe, the insole from a different shoe. Every sort of panel is from a different sneaker. The case is the same with the left shoe. Uh, unboxing experience is still pretty standard across the board. You get some nicer pattern, uh, butter paper, but you know, it's a slightly higher quality box, I guess. It has a Nike tag, these are a bunch of things that lead to us authenticating it as legitimate, and that's 50 grand. Another shoe we have for around the same 50,000 rupee price tag in that range is the Jordan 1 Chicago Lost and Found. Now, here's a really special shoe. This shoe is supposed to be remnant of the original Chicago that released way back in the day. Um, as if it was lying around found uh, sort of in storage. So you see the outsole has been like sort of artificially aged, there's a little cracking on sort of the uh, heel tab and this upper area. It's, it's pretty interesting. It also comes with a, a fake bill from, what year was this? From 1985. Uh, that says it was about, what, $49.99? Pretty interesting. This now this becomes a really interesting unboxing experience. It also has butter paper remnant at the same time. So I guess around here is when you start getting some nicer boxes. This box has also been artificially aged, has a bunch of scuff marks all over. Uh, I'd say this is pretty special. Entering the one lakh space is when you start hitting up collabs. Uh, this is a fairly large Travis Scott shoe. But the box appears to have been beaten in a bit. I don't think that's part of the unboxing experience. But overall, you get this very, very nice Tavis Scott Jordan 1 Low in the reverse mocha colorway. Uh, the swoosh is reversed. The materials are really nice. You get this Tavis Scott butter paper. Uh, you get a bunch of extra laces. Uh, around here, like, you know, shoes start getting sort of really special and really rare. Uh, keep in mind, you know, these shoes are not originally sold at these prices, the retail prices are much lower, but then in the resale world, the things that do get expensive um, have a lot of these things that play into them as factors. Another shoe we have at the 1 lakh price range here is the Nike SB Dunk in collab with Supreme. This is an extremely special shoe, the materials are extremely premium, it has this lovely gold Supreme sort of... Um, 
sort of jewel on the lace. What is this called? I forget what it's called. Uh, but yeah, overall, unboxing experience gets slightly nicer. It's a good quality standard Nike SB box. Um, it has some very nice Supreme and Nike butter paper. Uh, it has this cool sort of dog tag on the side which says world famous Supreme and Nike. And yeah, when you enter the collab space in the world of resale is when the unboxing experiences get really special. Speaking of collabs, we have one of the most iconic collabs of all time from one of the most iconic collab collections of all time, the Off-White Nike 10. We have with us the UNC Off-White Nike Jordan 1 High. This shoe is extremely special, right? The box has this sort of uh, window to peek at the shoes, you know, when they're in the box. Uh, and then the shoe has been modified a good amount. I think from the 10, there were five shoes that were deconstructed and five that were sort of vulcanized to be a form of transparent. This shoe has been heavily sort of deconstructed. The swoosh is out and like stitched back on. The foam is sort of exposed and opened up. These flaps are all out and about. It has the 85 logo printed here. It has off-white for Nike, Air Jordan 1 and be in Oregon here. Um, truly, truly an iconic sneaker, one of the most iconic collabs of all time and one of the most popular shoes that we've ever seen. The other shoe comes with the iconic off-white hang tag. Yeah, overall it's a pretty special shoe with a lot of different sort of tells in authenticity. In the same space, we have another fairly iconic Jordan 1 high. This here is one of the earlier re-releases of the Jordan 1 Chicago's that came out back in 2015, except this was just a direct retro. This is basically a stronger semblance of the shoe that has been made to age and look like the Chicago lost and found. Uh, this shoe goes around the 2 lakh range as well, it's extremely hard to find. But again, the unboxing experience is a very traditional Jordan 1 high. Um, it's a fairly comfortable shoe, it has this sort of cement butter paper on the inside. Um, And yeah, I mean, that's, that's all there is to it, honestly. Moving from the 2 lakh to the one we've all been waiting for, at the 5 lakh to be range, we have here a Jordan 1 collab with Air Dior. Now, this range is when the collabs get really, really exciting. The Air Dior Jordan 1 Low is a super, super special shoe. And the unboxing experience here is insanely cool. Not only is the shoe extremely beautiful, super iconic, smells phenomenal, the materials are incredibly premium, it has a sort of Dior monogram on the swoosh, but then within it, you get these insanely cool replacement sort of Dior insoles with like the Dior logo on them. This one comes with the Jordan logo. You get some really special um, dust bags. You get the Air Dior dust bags. You also get some very cool lace replacements that if you look real close, have the Dior logo on the aglets and then you get some insanely cool and super precious uh, Jordan Dior hang tags that are made of pure metal. Uh, overall I'd say this is probably the nicest unboxing experience and you really have to touch this range to feel it. Everything from the box to the sneakers to the butter paper to the accessories super goddamn for me. Now from that 5 lakh to the 10 lakh range I'd say the experience is not so incrementally better but at the 10 lakh range we have here these Louis Vuitton Nike Air Force Ones in the multi colorway. It's a fairly loud shoe. I think it's beautiful. The unboxing experience is honestly incredible. This box is like a reverse sort of Nike box with the LV sort of monogram on the outside. It comes with this very cool Louis Vuitton strap. It has these extra laces. It comes with this with this sort of luggage tag looking hang tag. It has these lovely laces that say, you know, bless it. And then these very cool Louis Vuitton Air Force dust bags that just feel super, super premium. All in all, it's a super premium unboxing experience, but not like double the price value from like the Dior Lowe's. At this point, I guess you're just picking shoes that you like. You're not really looking for like a rationalized version of the value add. And then in that similar 10 lakh range, we have here another Dior Jordan 1, which is the high top sneaker. 
Beautiful Dior butter paper. A gorgeous hair Dior highs. Same iced out sole, Dior monogram swoosh, super premium materials, dust bag, insoles, and then some. And that sort of brings us to the end of this video. Um, that was a lot of interesting shoes to unbox. Which sneaker here do you think is value for money? If you had all the money in the world, what shoes would you buy from this list? Let me know in the comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Main Street TV.